very good afternoon my dear student so as i am discussing about the societal impact under the societal impact today i am going to discuss about the data protection that means how you can protect the data so in a societal impact the previous classes i have discussed about what is a footprint what are the different type of social media we are using and how we can uh, do the implementation so today i am going to discuss about the data protection that how we can protect the data in the societal phase now data protection what do you mean by a data protection data protection refers that there is a refers to the participates that it will participates it will save goods and it will give you the different pattern of rules to place to protect your personal information and ensure that it remains in control that means all the information what you have all the information will needed to be controlled so in short what we can say we should able to decide what we can decide we should decide whether or not we want to share some information that we want to share some information or not who has an access of it how long it can be accessed for whom it is accessing for what reason it is accessing what is the able to uh, modify the some information isn't it so all this particular thing what is there we find it that when we are implementing on it when we are working on it we find that we will going to give the particular protection of the data that means we need to safeguard the data that safeguarding means how the data can be safeguard the question arises okay the question arises there that how you can safeguard the data we can safeguard the data in a different way first and foremost uh, how we can do suppose uh, i have said you some word okay so when i have said you some word uh, you and i said you you don't share it with anyone so what you have done you have quietly done the word and you find the success in your life so this is what uh, you are protecting the data that has been given to you but i have said you you say to another friend that friend said to another one another one is sending to another one and the total matter has been changed isn't it so as when the things are been changing uh, from one section to the another section in a similar way what we can find the data will also going to change that means your data will be stolen after the data will be stolen that will be given to the another one and similarly step after step suddenly you will find the total data what you have the data has been changed now you cannot do any pattern of work on it you are unable to work on that particular uh, structure you are unable to work on that particular software so what is that that is not an ensure that means we need to keep the control on the data data are not now controlled it can be taken by anyone it has an uh, control on it by any person from any part of the world so this is not a control system this is not ensuring you it is not giving you uh, the 100% insurance that the thing can be done properly you can do the work properly no not that also but what we decide whether uh, we will uh, want to share the data or whether we will not share the data now question is uh, that whom you are sharing the data and how you are sharing the data okay so some information what you find it that those the information what are there uh, we are going to get those particular pattern of information okay we want to decide we want to find that whether the sharing of the information are you sharing it in the proper person are we uh, doing the thing to the proper person so how to access it how we can access it how uh, for how long uh, the particular work can be accessed isn't it so uh, what are the reasons behind it so each and everything what we find it that we can able to modify we can able to get the proper instruction and information based on the data what is there so we have to protect the data in a various way so what we say that data digital age at present what where we are we are in the digital age okay so as we are in the digital age that means we will work with the data or information that to be protected we are working with the data and information those data and information are to be protected that means you need to protect what the privacy of the data that stored digitally 
here all the privacy of the data will be stored digitally so what we find is that the elements of the data can be caused what sustained to harms okay embarrassment some embarrassment some inconvenience some unfair means isn't it so all these things the individual uh, person uh, can use it in different way the uh, breached and the uh, comparisons that is called what the sensitive data that is when we are doing all this pattern of work when we are uh, finding it that elements of the data can cause what you are uh, going to harm your sustains it can make you embarrassed it can make the inconvenience and it can make an unfair means we also find it that some of the data are there which are not compromised which do not do the work which could not keep the promises so those the data is what we find that all those different pattern of data they are what they are very sensitive data for example the sensitive data the biometric information any pattern of biometric information if you change that biometric information the total information of the structure will going to change it will going to give you a wrong result which is not going to tell you for the with a real world so uh, biometric test will give a wrong result the thing will not tell you with the real world what is going on that means this is what we can find it that uh, regarding to our health suppose you want to check your health isn't it so if you are taking the different um, things like your pressure like your sugar etc etc so when you are taking it uh, that how much air pressure do you have etc so when you are checking it you are finding all the wrong information and getting you are taking the medicine or you find uh, that it is very less so you don't need to take a medicine you decide by yourself when you decide by yourself what happens you will going to come in a trouble so this is what we find that we do have a different type of things our financial information different pattern of financial information what we find all the financial informations are there in a document those each and every financial information that is very important to us like uh, we have seen many cases where we can find it that uh, the money has been stolen from the account how because the privacy has been broken the sensitiveness of the data has been broken and it has been uh, what stolen so as we find it those things are uh, done we can see it that there is the thing what we need to ensure ensure the methods of accessibility how we can access the data how we can get the authorization like when we see the pictures and movies in a multiplex and if you want to see in your particular uh, mobile or in other area <clears throat> now it is netflix is there so if you are going through the netflix that means you are uh, going through the loop Uh, nobody will be there to interrupt you but if you are just downloading that particular picture without the consent of a person you will see those the things will going to make you a lot of harms isn't it so this is what we can find it that we can have all this particular thing we can have the authentication we can have the encryptions okay we can have the encryptions authentication uh we can have the implementation uh, so all these things what we find it that uh, those the data are access only to the authors that means those who are author those who are the owner author means here the owner those the owner has a legal right to access the data to change the data to uh, add something in the data can be done but if you i all are the outsider we are not allowed to do any type of such thing with the data what is available if we are do, uh, doing that we are not following the laws and as we are not following the laws we are breaking the laws and therefore what we find it that if and every implementation if and every poss possibilities if and every sensitive informations what we have that those the informations are modified or it can be disclosed now what we find the consequences consequences means uh, the different pattern of steps the consequences of the unprotected data or data breach so the consequences what the suffer from the security breach now we uh, put the antivirus in our machine isn't it quite for for the security purpose so, so that any pattern of unwanted data cannot come and enter in our machine isn't it so next what we can find the physical data loss the data you are being or working with the data you can find physically the thing is lost now hit with the virus virus means different type of not this virus is a biometric virus this virus is a software virus so uh, <clears throat> made up of some program which come with some other program and it attacks the program itself as well as the machine so uh, target by hacking 
when you want to do the hacking at that particular time when what we make that we are making some target that this particular uh, person to be hacked this one to be hacked etc etc so there is a, a two pattern of hacker as i say uh, to you that one is a legal hacker one is a illegal hacker that means one is an authorized hacker one is an unauthorized hacker now next what find a uh, suffer from uh, ddos ddos means distributed denial of service okay that should not be there loss of money money loss should be very much reduced and what we find is the damage uh, downtown the damage which are coming in the downtown in a different phase those are needed to be what controlled those are needed to be checked up that on, then only the work can be done okay so this is how we can find it that there are different pattern of consequences can come with from the unprotected data Now, as I am discussing about the unprotected data, now I am going to discuss about the protected data. Now, what is a protected data? We can find it that our personal information we can protect, like through encrypt the data. That means data is encrypting, keeping the password. We uh, don't share in the social media. We use the security software. We avoid the phishing and email. Phishing and not that phishing. Phishing means uh, to stolen the programs. We uh, we must be very much wise about using our Wi-Fi. We must give the alert to personnel, okay? And we uh, safely deposit the personal information. So, impersonal uh, letters, uh, we can what? Alert about it. We can dispose or disclose what? All the different type of informations. So, this is what we can find. This is what we can say that when we are working on the data, when we are working on the protected data, we will data lot of benefits on it okay so different pattern of benefits can be able as we are working on it so as we are working on it what we find it that those the data what are there those are data we can protect our personal data online how so encrypting our data number one you can encrypt your, your data number two is a Keep uh, password private. The private password what you are giving it should be kept private. Do not over share our social network. Social network cannot be given that any person is finding a request and you added uh, him or her. Please don't do all these things. User security software. User security software means as a user we are doing a different uh, work. Okay. So uh, sharing the jobs, sharing the different types of uh, informations that we can say. That means what we have, we have the use of secure uh, software, different type of secure software is there that we need to what insert and we have to see. Next, what we can find ever be wise about the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi means your what the different uh, type of communication. It is not a direct communication, but this communication is a communication where one device will be working and uh, based on that device you can do connect it with your what different types of gadgets isn't it be allowed to uh, impersonalities impersonalities uh, safely deposit a personal information so this is what we can find that we do have in this particular phase when we want to protect the particular data okay so this is the way we can protect the data this is the way how we can work with the data and this is the way how we find it that our different pattern of data we have to secure we have to make them secure we have to bring them in the particular form where they are isn't it this is the security system that we find this is the wi-fi we find it isn't it we should be very much alert about the matter we should be very much uh, know about the matter that how the matter is working and how the matter is giving us the different pattern of information and which help us to do the different types of work. Okay. So thank you students. I am ending my today's session here. Thank you all.